the Volkswagen Space Vision, the Hyundai Vision T, and the 2020 Ionic. Three cars, one reel, details after this. Welcome everyone, my name is Chris, and well, this is your channel, your news around everything happening in renewables, EVs, technology, and more in Australia, and well, sometimes around the, around the world. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Return subscribers, thanks so much for your support. Consider subscribing, those other people out there. Yeah, just maybe. And if you're one of my awesome patrons, thanks so much for supporting me. All right, first up, Volkswagen premiered another concept car, the ID Space Vision, at the LA Auto Show. This car is based upon the Modular Electric Drive Matrix, or the MEB to you and me. And it's another one of those ID cars, which I'm kind of getting sick of, to be honest, because, you know, there's the ID3, the ID, well, I'll get to them in a minute. Anyway, it's promising, but as we all know, with concept cars, car makers, well, and VW is no different. They make a lot of promises, and they don't always come to fruition, but I'll go with them for the moment. So. This is now the seventh model of the MEB slash ID platform, where you've already got like the Cross, the Buzz, the Buggy, the Rooms. They don't make these things easy to say, especially when you've got braces. I digress. VW says that the Space Vision, Vision, is that how you say it? Correct me down below in the comments. I know you will. Anyway, they say that it defines a completely new vehicle segment featuring aerodynamic design of a Gran Turismo with the space of an SUV and an airflow through the front end and a roof that contributes to an efficient aerodynamics, enabling a drag coefficient of 0.24. The car will feature an 82 kilowatt hour battery and can supposedly do about 590 kilometers on the WLTP real range test. Now, this this range is pretty astonishing, as the Tesla Standard Range Plus, the Model 3, like, is currently the king or queen. And, well, in theory, if we applied that and, you know, gave the Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus an 85 kilowatt hour battery pack, then it could actually get, like, 607 kilometers of range. So, I'd love to see, actually, VW deliver on this supposed range, but we'll see, we'll see. VW is promising zippy performance with all-wheel drive, electric motors producing like 250 kilowatts of power and a 0 to 100 time of 5.4 seconds. Internally, this car is definitely in the concept future car space with a fully digitalized cockpit. Yeah, that's the words, not mine. An augmented reality heads-up display and a 15.6 inch touchscreen which appears to hover in midair. At present, it's only promised to Europe and North America in 2021, with no, year, no word yet from VW Australia on whether it will end up in the showroom near us in the near future. Okay, another concept car to last after. Today, Hyundai unveiled the Vision T plug-in hybrid SUV concept car at the 2019 Automobility Show in Los Angeles. The Vision T is like the seventh in a series of Hyundai Design Center concepts, and it's an SUV concept that is powered uh, like, as a plug-in hybrid powertrain, indicating its eco-lifestyle focus and inherent balance with the environment in which it's driven. Hyundai took up a lot of fluff around the design characteristics and the charisma that this car, car exudes, but what I found intriguing is the hidden signature lamp derived from the Le Fil Rouge and the Grandeur Lift. And well, they, this they claim will, at high speeds, use parametric air shutters to actively adjust both the aerodynamics and design appearance. When stationary, the grille is closed and static. Once in motion, each of the individual cell grilles continues to move in a prescribed sequence, creating a truly dynamic forward demeanor. Now, will that aerodynamic stuff truly deliver on both performance as well as range? Well, maybe, but hey, these guys with these big wing things, they seem to know what they're doing, so maybe, right? Maybe? <laughs> Details of the engine, electric motor, and more were not on the press release, and again, there's no Australian date. Hyundai has confirmed its 2020 Ionic electric specs, and well, they're looking a lot better than the 2016 first iteration. With a bump up in battery size from 28 to 38.3 kilowatt hours, the Ionic is capable of 270 kilometers of range, and that's like a 36% increase. An upgraded onboard 
7.2 kilowatt charger is capable of 100 DC fast charging and we can see the new Ionic get like to 80% of charge in 54 minutes. They've upgraded their lane keeper system radar cruise control and now call them uh, highway driving and lane following assist and they say that they'll make long trips less stressful and more comfortable. And this is amazing. Hyundai has a limited lifetime electric battery warranty of 10 years, including the powertrain. Hyundai says that will mean that the Ionics lithium-ion polymer battery will, if, if it ever should need replacing, that they'll replace the battery and cover the recycling cost of the old battery pack for free. And that's only to the original driver though. Well, thanks for watching to this point so far. Now, I've actually got uh, a bonus story for you in a second, plus all details on the uh, Model 3 subscriber giveaway. And well, if you're enjoying this, look, do consider subscribing. It really does support the channel. And if you can spare like a coffee a month from as little as $2 American, you can join me over here somewhere on Patreon where people like Angelo and Ray Johnson help support this um, work that I do and look, I really do appreciate it, so consider going over there. Okay, last stories. Ah, uh, did you see what I did just there? I haven't got just one bonus story. I've got two bonus stories for you. <laughs> Didn't see that coming, did you? No. All right, first one is renewable energy company Neom, who's expanding its capacity of the Hornsdale Battery Power Reserve. That's the one in South Australia, you know, the one that Elon Musk did the bet with, yeah. Anywho. They're going to be expanding it by 50 megawatts or 64.5 megawatt hours. And again, it's being supported by Tesla. This will obviously help companies, individuals, and businesses keep the lights on. Even when the sun is not shining, the wind isn't blowing, or when blackouts occur in Queensland. What? Oh, di didn't you hear about that from our politicians? How the virtual power plant in South Australia actually saved Queensland recently? No? It's kind of weird, but this little this little tuned on viewer, he, he, he knows what he's on about. And yeah, let me share some details about that for a second. The blackout comes via the Renew Economy website uh, where they detailed that in October, October 9 to be precise, the South Australian VPP, that's like a solar battery project that's been installed on hundreds of homes over there. They injected into the national electricity market when the Cogan Creek coal power station tripped and reduced the supply by, get this, 784 megawatts. That is a massive drop in power. So when the VPP, VPP, hmm, try saying that quickly, when it detected a drop in the power, it immediately kicked in and well, the power went from these residential batteries and helped the system return to normal. Isn't that amazing, right? Like, where's the fanfare or maybe a parliamentarian standing in ch uh, chambers and going, hey, this is what a lithium ion battery can do. Um, I kind of sound like someone else then, but you get the idea. Getting back to the story on the battery, the Hornsdale expansion, like this mega battery, in its first year of operation, saved consumers more than $50 million and shorted the network and been able to like react to outages like the one I just mentioned, in milliseconds. The cost of adding the 50 megawatts is not fully known, but it is being supported both by the, uh, the South Australian government uh, through one of their funds, as well as ARENA. So, you know, this is a great initiative and I'd like to see more. If you want to get some more information about this story, plus all the others I did, look down below. I've got links to all the stories I talk on and you can have a read of them yourself. And it's actually a really interesting story right there. All right, now, before you go, you want to be a winner, 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 chicken dinner, definitely. If you want to get yourself on these Tesla Model 3 performance pedals with thanks to Ashley, um, his referral links down below, by the way, if you're in the market for an SX or 3, and you want some free uh, supercharging, use this link. Um, you can win these little bad puppies. So be a subscriber, put in the comments, winner, and I'll announce a winner on Monday's show, the 25th of November. Good luck, hope you uh, win. All right, that's it for me today. Obviously tomorrow, there's gonna be a lot of excited um, fans out there when Tesla unveils the Tesla Cybertruck. Yep, 
Uh, I think it's occurring um, Australian Eastern Daylight Time about 3.30 p.m. That's maybe 2.30 p.m. for those up in Queensland. All right, so um, I'll be reporting on this tomorrow. Um, probably they'll be out this, uh, Friday night, Saturday morning. So check that out. And hey, if you do nothing, be good, be green.